Hi, this is Dr. V and I am inside one of my courses. It may not look exactly like what you see. I will tell you that when I go into perusal that I can't do it as a student because of how it's set up, but it will be very close to what you see. When I give a perusal assignment in my classes, I will usually put this little book icon there so that it's easy to spot. And then when there is an assignment in perusal, that book icon is going to appear in front of whatever the particular assignment is. You should be able to get into perusal from the links that are in the modules that are listed in Canvas here in the middle space. If you have trouble with that, you can get into it over here in the sidebar as well. And I know that that will work for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and click here to a demonstration of perusal that we used in class during orientation. When you click on it, it's going to go to the perusal program and open up and look something like what you see on my screen right here. It can be intimidating when you first use it because there is a lot going on on the screen. If you want to hide this sidebar and make it bigger over here, you can click that X to get rid of it. Otherwise, you might find it useful if you want to go back and look at older assignments. That's a good time for me to stop and say that these are due on time, like they can't be done late because they are interactive with other students in the class. So there is no credit for these given if you don't do them on time. I'm going to X out of that so that the screen's a little bit better. You can see already that there have been some things happening inside of this text. There's some highlights left here. Right here are my instructions in gray. The instructions will show when you go to do one of these activities. If you want to leave a comment in a reading that's located here in the middle, you highlight it. You can see here on the left hand side that I have just highlighted something. It's a little bit jumpy because my mouse is quick. The second I let go of the button, the comment will show up in the right hand column where the comments go. So I'm going to let go of the button now. And here it is over on the side. Now it says current conversation here. The cursor is blinking and I can type hello. This is a demonstration. How to type a comment in this perusal app. And then when I want to submit it, I have to click enter. I'm not going to hit enter yet because I want to show you, you can use bold, italics, underline. You can do background color for your assignments. You can add some functions here that we will not need much, but I do like the emoji use in my writing classes. Students can enter images into their comments. They can format and use links. So if you want to include a link, instead of having a link that goes on and on for lines, you can actually format a link. You can put in a YouTube video if you want as well. Now again, to actually have this comment go into the app, I have to hit enter. I'm doing that now. And then you can see now it changed color and it's at the top. If you want to make it a question, um, you can just click on the question mark. You can see when I hover over it, it says click to request an answer. And that would be asking a question that other people could answer for you in the class. If you wanted to tag me in your comment, you can do that too, if you want to ask a question of me directly. So I'll come down here, I'll, I'll demonstrate how to make a comment again. Again, my mouse is kind of jumpy. All right, so I'm going to highlight this word professors here on the left. I'm going to let go of my mouse now and the comment feature will pop up in the right sidebar. And now I'm going to say I am showing how to type a comment for a professor and how to tag Dr. V. And I'm going to hit the at button now on my keyboard. 
When I hit the at button, a list of everyone in the class is going to pop up, including my name. So right now, you can see here that there are the names of the people in the class. Mine is down here somewhere. Might not be showing because it's me for me. So I'll put in at, say if I put V, if it'll work. No. Okay. I don't think it's working because it's, I can't put myself in here. Try that out. If, it, if that doesn't work and something has changed in the app and my name isn't in the list, let me know. Um, but if that's the case, put the big question mark here when you hit enter. So I'll just take the at out and I'll hit enter and show you that it's now at the top. It's in this light blue color. And if I want to request an answer, I'm going to click that question mark. There are some other things that you can do, like upvote comments for one another. You'll see a little upvote button as well. So if you want to see all the comments that are in here, you need to come over to the side and click here where there's like this little double conversation bubble that says all conversations. You can click there and then check this out. You can see here the things that people have typed up during class. And then if you want to reply to one of those, you can go in and click to it, like click on it. So I'll pick this one down here, click, and then now I can reply to this person. You can see that it says CT. So I'm going to hit at, and then I'm going to look for CT down in here. And then I clicked on it and now Christian's going to get my comment directly. Making this comment to you for a demonstration video. Thanks. Christian's actually going to get a notification that I made the comment. Now, once I hit enter, it submits the comment. Christian's going to get a notification. Those are the basic features that you need to know to use this app in our class. There are some other great features. If you'd like to annotate for yourself and leave yourself notes on a reading, there's an annotation, annotation feature down here called notes. I'll click on notes right here. It has a very brief list to show you how you can take notes here. Make sure that if you do use notes for yourself in the app, that you go back to the regular conversation mode to leave comments that I would see because I won't be looking at the notes. That's not how we're using it for the activities that you will receive credit for in this class. So again, I'm gonna recommend that most of the time you stay up here in conversation mode and I would suggest that you stay in all conversation modes so that you can see what other people in the class are doing. You can, if you want, exit out of conversations and just read and not look at what anybody else is saying and do it like this. If you wanna look at a copy that doesn't have the sidebar, but you're gonna want the sidebar to comment back to other people, and for the sake of efficiency, I think most people will prefer to read with that on. But know that you can turn that feature on or off if desired. Thanks for watching.